Another day in London, another day stuck in traffic. The UK capital is among the world's most congested cities. And this frustration is encouraging a growing number of businesses to move from vans to electric cargo bikes. Joe Sharp is the co-founder of one such company working in logistics. We can get through the traffic faster, we can get, get across town quicker. Um, ultimately it's cheaper for the folks who pay to use our services. We might be doing sort of 30, 40 deliveries a day on a cargo bike, a van, eight to 10. Zero's carbon-free model has helped it carve out a particular niche transporting artworks. There was a movement inside the fine art world to be more transparent about the, the environmental impact of making art, showing art, exhibiting art, and we as a company slotted quite nicely into that fine art world uh, at that time. The environmental benefits are an aspect the local government wants to encourage. Transport for London estimates the move towards cargo bikes could save up to 30,000 tonnes of CO2 emissions a year. Individual traders are also making the change. Plumber Ben Hume Wright switched his Ford pickup truck for an e-cargo bike in 2021 and hasn't looked back. He still owns the old vehicle, but it's taken on a different function. Several times a day, I come back to the van, which has become a glorified shed in order to load up with any other bits I need for my six or seven jobs of the day. I've just found that doing jobs by bike has been so much faster. For bigger installations, Ben gets suppliers to deliver bulky items directly to the client. But most of the time, he gets by with just the tools he can load onto his bike. And he's found improvements in his mental health too. I find that being stuck in traffic like this can be it can make me feel quite pressured if, I'm, uh, if I need to get in a certain amount of jobs in a day, if I'm running late for an appointment. I know on my e-bike exactly when I'm going to arrive to the nearest minute or two. Located in a warren of railway arches near London Bridge Station, Fully Charged is one of the UK's leading retailers. CEO Ben Giaconelli says growth in the UK has been astronomical. Every day in the paper there's another thing, you know, London's traffic has grown to a halt, you know, uh, fuel prices have gone through the roof, ULEZ, um, pollution, this, that, it's just everything. It's like a pyramid that has basically built the market for e-bikes. Despite the growth, the UK still lags behind some other European nations in cargo bike adoption. Germany is the continent's largest market, with Denmark and the Netherlands not far behind. But with a 30% increase in UK e-cargo bike sales in the year to May 2023, it's clear that the market is continuing to shift through the gears.